Now what is yield? The total output is the yield. Now yield is certainly very important because when the yield is more that means more food and it also means more money for the farmer. So obviously when somebody is working so hard then there has to be a yield. What will be your yield? If you work for the whole year for your exams your yield is your marks, your performance. And what is your yield as a human being? That of course is a very difficult answer. So coming back to our yield of crop, what we require is more yield. But in addition to this, we have to understand why we grow different type of crops. Now you see the food has various nutrients like carbohydrate, fat, protein, vitamins, etc. So naturally, our crops are usually those crops which can provide us with these nutrients. For example, for carbohydrates, we grow wheat, rice, maize, millets, etc. And what about proteins? Obviously, the pulses. gram p and the highest source of protein soya bean you see it is not the animals but the soya bean which is the highest source of protein then what about oils how do we get fats from the oils and for oil, which plants? Groundnut, mustard and sunflower. These are the crops that we grow for these kind of nutrients.